Hello, my beautiful Leo dragons. Welcome to your little love reading for right now. So first we're going to do single energy and then we're going to do couple energy. So let's go ahead and get some cards for you guys. So single energy for Leo. Woo. And they're already coming out. Let's see. Leo single energy. Leo single energy. That was, ooh, that was a dump, but we'll take that one, especially because it flew into the future spot. Love that. Okay, so let's see. Can I get one more? Oh, oh okay, two more. Okay, so I'm really interested in seeing what this card is. I'll move that into the camera view. What came out in this past energy? Okay, yeah, so Leo's in the past, you have self-indulgence, okay? So um, this is about focusing on yourself and taking time to heal, which makes sense because you have um, heart with a key. The Phoenix, yeah, a lot of transformation, but I feel like you did it very quietly. Um, I think that you might be really working towards opening yourself up to a new love, okay? So this is single energy. So you could be in a couple and you might be working on trying to fix things. Now keep in mind, that's only for healthy relationships, please. Um, but, um, so this is about um, growth. And you may have changed your mind about something or someone. Um, let's get some more clarification. I want to see what this is. Ooh. Okay, guys, your future card is addiction. Okay, so it's codependent, obsession, passion, controlling, has a block and restraint. Okay, so here's the deal. If you're planning on going back to something, don't. And heal. You have to heal from it. Oh, heavy love readings, guys. Crazy heavy. Some are great. Right? Some are like good, but this is, this is, and it's very specific, like I said. So sun, moon, rising, Venus. Check out other signs if this is not yours. Do not make this your reading if it isn't, but do have an open mind and realize if it is, because this is one of those sort of bigger readings, right? So give me some cards, please, for Leo singles. Yeah, okay. I just heard in my mind that you know if this is for you. Just, you'll know. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I feel like you're dreaming about getting away from something. You're dreaming about releasing this energy, actually. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. It's a very hostile um, person. And it's somebody who's superficial, who pretends they want to help you, but they aren't. Okay? Um, somebody wants to control everything. And actually doesn't have their own, um, doesn't have their own, uh, com they don't have their own confidence. So they, they go in, oh, guys, okay, Phoenix, you need to grow and transform. You don't go back. You have, you have your nine of ones in reverse. So you're, you're trying to retreat, right? You're trying to, um, you feel right now, you may be feeling like you're fighting a losing battle and, and you have to realize that you're not, okay? Because you're trying, you have to free yourself from this, okay? Your page of wands is in reverse here. So you're just going to have to realize it's going to take a little bit of time, okay? Um, and make sure that you get proper information. This is somebody who's going to try to tell you wrong information, okay? Um, so, and this is Queen of Swords. You need to become this, Okay, Queen of Swords is very powerfully um, intellectual, which is tough to do in this situation. You need to actually really um, know what you're talking about. Okay, so do your research, see what everything is about, see how things work. Okay, let's see. Any cards? Okay, let's see what's come out here. Yeah, you are working hard, okay? You have the Seven of Pentacles. This is still in the beginning, so this is about patience, okay? It's about being wise 
and right now is not the time to move, okay? You have the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? So you're stuck, okay? You are stuck. You might be trying to escape, but now you know that now is not the time to move on with this. Guys, this is really heavy, okay? Make sure if this is you, you need to make sure that you go and get the assistance that you need. Let's get some uh, cards for you guys. So what's come out here? New love. And so here's the thing is, as I flip this over, it's like you need to develop a new love for yourself. Okay, this is not going to be an easy thing. And it's funny because the top one came out. Yeah, do not go back and reconcile. Because I heard it was like, this is not for you. I had to flip it over, but it's not for you. Do not, do not <sighs> reconcile. Because this is tricky. Be very careful. This is a very tricky situation. Okay, Leos. So you are in a single energy. So I feel like mentally, emotionally, you are separated. You may still physically be together, okay? But you need to, you need to get past this addiction. Um, go seek help. This is a super heavy reading, Leo. Like this, I think, is the heaviest reading that I've gotten. It's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and get into the coupling energy. Maybe we can get some new energy. Um, I feel like whatever you needed to hear, you heard. Um, remember, there's all kinds of other readings. If this is, again, if this is not your reading, don't make it yours, right? If you're happily single and you're moving around, okay, it's just always, we always have to pay attention for red flags, right? But um, if that is a very specific reading for um, one of my subscribers, okay, or even if you just stumble upon it, okay, do subscribe because it's those of you who subscribe trying to draw that energy into your readings. Let's see. And always, always, okay, if you need to email me, you can send me an email, okay, I see it, I get it, it might take me a bit to respond, I have, um, I have life, <laughs> I have a job, uh, all those things, okay, guys, so let's get some energy for Leo couples, I do like to see your comments, though, okay, so even if it's just a high, okay, um, they do go public, so if you want to say something to me privately, email me. Okay, my email's in the description. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, guys. Okay, so yeah, you have passion and karmic relationship, obviously. So let's see. Yeah, healthy choices. So what I think that you're realizing is, is that you do need to make healthy choices. Okay, karmic relationship. Okay, here's the thing with relationships, especially when they're karmic. Okay, nobody deserves nobody deserves to be hurt okay nobody and the people who actually go out and hurt they do it because they learned it either because they themselves were hurt or they saw that that's how that's what you do and they aren't complete human beings so but if you're the one that's getting hurt okay you don't deserve the lessons but what it does is um say this is say this is you okay and say these are your boundaries these people okay these karmics they come in and they'll sneak in and find those little cracks that you have where you need to grow and heal. And and it might be having like insane chemistry, right? That's what passion is, right? It's like you're you're like really coming in and it's and it's like and then all of a sudden you have a lot of resentment and you're having to let go and love you. And this is the healthy choice with this. So you might, you're still very much carrying this energy of whatever this is. I don't feel the heaviness from the singles reading. So I don't know if this is you moving out of this relationship from the singles reading or this is a brand new um, Leo reading. I don't feel the heaviness. The, the singles, I get a very heavy and a very... Um, almost like a suffocated feeling here. I get it. It's a little bit lighter. I think that it's, you've, you've released a lot of it. You're not in it. Um, and you're sort of, you're, you're making the healthy choices. Okay. Not that you're not making healthy choices before, but let me just keep going with this couple's reading. Cause I feel like I could talk forever. Okay. So let's see. I'm not going to take that. You have to excuse my shuffling, guys. I hurt my, uh, I really chomped my thumb um, badly. So it's, I'm having a hard time um, with this. But the right cards will come out, right? 
So, okay, guys, so we have the Page of Swords and the Emperor. Yeah, somebody came in and they were, they presented themselves as an emperor, but they were just a flighty little Page of Swords. So they presented themselves like, oh, I know what I'm doing, da 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 da, but then they were really a Page of Swords, right? And you realize, look at this, two pages, you realize how young that they were, really. So they presented one way that they really weren't. Wow. So then we have. Guys, there's so many people here. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Keep in mind, I don't care if it's female or male. It's energy, okay? So I feel that um, maybe you sort of shifted, right? So this this whole energy, you just decided, right? You got in. I feel like you had some sort of good news or something for you happened and it's more lighthearted. It let you move into something else, okay? Maybe you went in, maybe you've met two people. Maybe you've become the Queen of Pentacles and you're very stable and you've met somebody very fiery and passionate, but in a good way, okay? I don't, I get the sense that this is sort of future energy. This is your healthy choices. And this is the passion and the karmic. So you're moving into a very good space. Like I feel like you're you're really taking the time to feed yourself and your queen of wands. Uh, you know, you might you might be bringing some passion in there, right? Uh, you know, passion and stability. You know, how how bad is that? Yeah. OK, so give the relation, give your relationship a chance. I feel like as soon as you start to make these healthy choices, it's going to be sort of hard for you to move on. Um, you may, um, if this person comes back, right, coming in and offering you something again, make sure that there's changed behavior, okay? Some karmic soulmates do come in to stay, not a lot, but once, if both lessons are learned on both parts and both have made healthy choices, you could grow together. But what I'm hearing is even just to give a relationship a chance, right? So just to work on your partnerships. I'm hearing that it isn't even just romantic, okay? So this is just all of your relationships, just to work on them, right? So as soon as you start your self-care and your self-love, you're going to be happier and everybody else around you will become happier too. Okay. If you stick with this or if you leave this, that's up to you. We'll see what the cards have to say in your next reading. Very different energy from the singles reading though. Okay. So I really feel like this is not connected unless that singles reading was your past and now you're moving on, but this would be like years later. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Please do like and subscribe. Thank you for your support, and I will see you in your next reading.